half of people would end up living in a van down by the river because of a financial disaster. Here's what you should think about getting a new home. Today on the Scott Allen Turner Show, broadcasting live from Studio X in the great country of Texas, I'm Scott Allen Turner on a mad mission to help you get financial independence, ultimate happiness, and a life full of awesome experiences. Along for the ride, producer Katie, <laughs> today. If you got a question like answered on the show, please visit goaskscott.com. We'll get into some of those in a bit. I talked last week. I visited Dr. Dreamy last week who diagnosed me with bronchitis. What I left out of the story was he said, try to take it easy. And he says, but I know how it is. I had the same thing a while back for three weeks, and I didn't take it easy either. As you and I know, when you build good habits of doing something, you want to keep on doing them even if the circumstances say otherwise. So I wanted to work out. Friday last week, I checked the weather, cloudy, every hour for the rest of the day. Cloudy. I am still sick, but I wanted to go for a walk. I get outside, and it's ever so slightly sprinkling. But I go for it, because the weather said it's going to be cloudy, right? I'm over a mile away from my house, and it starts pouring. And I find a tiny little tree to stand under. I call up Mr. Wizard in the Matrix. That's my wife, Katie. Mr. Wizard, I need an exit. Get me out of here now. I'm getting wet. Mr. Wizard says, I'm at Walmart buying groceries. I can't come get you. (laughs) Well, sink or swim at that point. Except my choices were stand there to continue to get soaked or run. Think of your favorite workouts or any workout, gasping for air. Now add bronchitis to that. I ran home one mile in the pouring rain having bronchitis. Because of my rainy day incident, I thought listening about rainy day funds would be fun today. And I got something new for you coming up in a moment. For some listeners, this is the first time ever hearing about this thing. Everyone has a first time. That's okay. I get that. Uh, Emergency fund? What's that? Life insurance? What's that? Disability insurance? What's that? Emergency fund, three to six months of living expenses in cash to help weather life's big storms. Think of it this year, this way. In all my years of doing this show, I've never had one listener say, having money when they really needed it was a bad idea. Curse you, Turner, and all this cash I have. Imagine you're heading out the front door for a walk, picnic, trip to Krispy Kreme, whatever. There are people who will quit even before they get started. It's cloudy. It could rain. I'll stay inside. There are people who will start, but at the first sign of things not being perfect, they'll turn around. I'll try it, but if I feel one raindrop, I'm done. I'm made of sugar and I might melt. Donuts be doomed. There are people beyond the journey, but when things get a bit challenging, they bail out. Uh, It's raining. I'll stand under this tree and I'll call Uber. Then there are people who will think ahead. It's cloudy. Meteorologists are glorified psychic palm readers. I'll bring a windbreaker, waterproof boots, or an umbrella just in cases. And all those things are how people think of emergency funds. The people who just stay inside where it's warm, they think, Nothing could ever go wrong. Why would it? It's warm in here. The people who start get a little momentum. Then life happens. The fund goes down, back down to zero or negative zero. That's a real number for many people. They never get going again. Then the half of people who take a belt and suspenders approach. Rain. It's been known to rain. It will probably rain again. It's been sunny for 254 days, but I'll be ready just in cases. Listen to the shocker. Rating a retirement fund has a 10% penalty. That's peanuts compared to the long-term impact. Pulling $10,000 out of a retirement account for something costs about a year's worth of living expenses during retirement. Someone could have retired 365 days earlier. So if someone is thinking it's a good idea to use a retirement account to cover a big emergency, they could be working an extra year to recover. Clearly, not having cash on hand, that leads to a big domino effect of bad things happening, one after the other. There's a loss of money coming in. 
then the rent or mortgage can't be paid. The retirement accounts get raided. The nest egg gets scrambled, which is why building this rainy day fund is so important. It's self-insurance. You already have health insurance, hopefully. Car insurance, hopefully. Home insurance, yeah, required. Things we all hate paying for and hope we never have to use. But when we do, it's a huge relief. That's the emergency fund. A cash cushion. It's like the giant net if you're walking across an acrobatic tightrope. When you fall, it's like landing in a 20-foot pile of cotton balls, which is 6.3 meters for my international listeners of the Scott Allen Turner Show. Trust me, we all fall at some point. The only question is how hard or soft is the landing, cotton balls versus concrete. Everyone starts out looking down at concrete. With planning, you'll get to the cotton balls, white fluffy balls of fluffiness. They don't hurt. They are the insurance policy for a loss of income and for having to work an extra year. And it takes time. It takes everyone time. You just do a little at first. First, you start to see a few cotton balls down there as you're walking the tightrope. Like a few snowflakes falling from the sky. Then a few more. Then they really start appearing. And after however long it takes, you're up to your knees and savings. You could flop over any day and just take a big old nap. To bring in life, we got this one covered. If you're paying off debts right now, hear me. Pay off the debts. That's the priority. The emergency fund comes later in the plan. But plan on filling it up. And I know you want to do this little hack I've got for you. Today, I want you to give your rainy day fund a name. Even if there's nothing in it. Get that account set up for when you can put money in it. It's going to be your goal. It's a little hack to give it a powerful name that's powerful to you. See, rainy day funds, super boring. Try naming your fund something like the Save My Fanny Fund, because that's what it's going to do someday. And please, you know the advice around here is amazing. So many of you told me about thinking in your heads, where else would you think, right? What would Scott do? That question has helped you come to the best decisions in your own lives. So when you think of your fanny fund, think of me. Why well, did I get to the other to the, the side of the 50% of people and listeners that have money, sleep well at night with a cotton ball safety net? After you pick a name for your rainy day fund, email us, scott at scottallenturner.com. Winner gets 200,000 bonus points. Bonus points are worth nothing. <laughs> Someone's going to have some amazing names. What do you think of this shirt? Huh? This is pretty good for those of you watching the, the video portion of this show. This is from my awesome friends at Rock Roll in Soul. Rock Roll in Soul. The unofficial wardrobe supplier. I had to buy all this stuff myself. <laughs> These Scott Allenters. I feel like I'm going to Hawaii in this one, though. It's a metal, though. <laughs> Scott Allen Turner will be right back. 